you go. Good evening, San Juan board members. Um, we're here with my my daughter. She we're enrolling in TK right now. She's in the pink right there, and we're looking forward to that. It's going to be great for her to be around other students. But we're shocked by the number of vaccines we're going to be going through the rest of the year visiting our doctor. And you know, to me, bullying is wrong. And the biggest bully in California schools is Senator Pan, because these mandates are not justified by science. Polio, for example, there hasn't been a case of polio since 1979. People with polio can go anywhere, fly airplanes and, and airplanes, work in restaurants, do anything except for sit in a kindergarten. Measles, there was an outbreak of measles, but that was at Disneyland. Senator Pan did nothing about that. People can still, without any vaccines or health checkups, fly from endemic parts of the world and visit Disneyland. A kid in an endemic part of the world has more right to visit Disneyland than a healthy kid has to attend school. Now, chicken pox. You know, I had chicken pox. When did chicken pox become illegal in California? What well, my understanding is if you get chicken pox, you have lifetime immunity, but if you get the vaccine, that immunity might wear off. You know, and, and what I see is the reason we have, I better go fast. The reason we have it is because there's money behind getting the vaccine. That's what I'm, I'm concerned is SB277 is driven by money. I'm going to talk fast because I have a point to make. Um, and what are the consequences? What if we said, no, we're not going to have the chicken pox vaccine? What could happen? The, the kid could be taken away by CPS. We could be thrown in jail for truancy, worst case. And that's a ridiculous reaction to say, we'd like our daughter to have a natural immunity to chicken pox. Um, why did, if, if vaccines are so good, why did Senator Pan exclude himself and his own staff? He can walk around the Capitol exposing all the little kids with their germs, the senators and staffers. So they've excluded themselves. The biggest danger I see to SB 277 is it's open-ended. An unelected health director can say, there was a malaria outbreak in Florida, so we better add malaria to our vaccine list. There was a Zika case in Arizona. We're going to add that. It's a very dangerous open-ended. <sighs> I wish you consider my comments. Thank you. And I wish you consider my, my thought that um, we're getting some bullying in the school. Thank you. Thank you.